Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And all of you know me, I talk about BI, ETL, and EIML. So today we are going to create a chart in Power BI, and this chart will have option to switch the measures. Currently, if this chart is created on quantity. We can select sales and make it sales by region. So you can have more than two measures. You, you can have quantity, sales, profit, inventory, loss, anything else. The idea is that we have single chart which is taking space of just one chart, but you have options to switch between measures. This is quantity by region. Now let's understand how it is built. So the data which you see in the chart is actually coming from a data source, which is Excel file. So this is the data, order ID, order date, and other dimensions. The measure which we are using is quantity and discount. So this is one set of data which is loaded. Now the other set of data is synthetic data, which is created inside our Power BI itself so which is created inside our power query so if you go to power query you will always find this option of enter data here so i've created some synthetic data by using enter data option the columns if you look at the source there are two columns here one is measure another one is chart title in measure i have sales and quantity chart title i have sales by region and quantity by region so one data i have loaded directly from the data source second is i've created inside power query and this data set which I've created inside Power Query, I've called it synthetic data. It has two columns. One column will have list of all the measures. Second column is the chart title, which I can use in charts when I'm switching between the charts. Going back to my chart. So in chart, what I have done is I've created one measure. So I will go to data and I'll show you the measure which I have created. So there is a selected measure which is created. I'm using switch function from DAX, which, which allow you to switch between multiple values. It is similar to case in SQL. You can read more about this. And inside switch, I have true. So true tells that the condition is true. And then I have values. If the value synthetic data measure is sales, then do sum of data sales. Else, if values synthetic data measure is quantity, do sum of data quantity. You can add more options here if you have more things to do in the dropdown. What I will do, I'll, I'll copy and paste this DAX into the comment window as well. You can always refer the comment window and you can read more about values and switch online. Once you have created this particular measure, what you will do, you will use that measure on Y axis. On X axis, you can use any of your dimension from data. So now if you select sales, it is sales by region. If you select quantity, it is quantity by region. You see the title is also updating. So from where title is updating, if you go to your format, your visual general title and in title, what we have done here is that we have we are using title from the formula itself. So title is directly coming from the formula. That's where it is. It is taking value from. So click on FX, field value, first chart title, and summarization first. So the, the, the column I have selected here is that chart title from my second data set, which is being used here. All right, so that's what I wanted to cover for this video. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know in comments if you want to learn more about these things.